What were, uh, let's first start with mobile home parks. What were some of your early struggles and lessons learned in investing in mobile home parks? Um, early struggles, lessons learned. Um, and it'll be the well, same question for self storage as well. <laughs> yeah. Self storage is a little easier because there's not as many utilities. Um, and that is the big issue with mobile home parks. A lot of them are older and, uh, they have old utilities. And, um, like right now we just had a line break, a sewer line in one of our parks, um, that we need, and we're going to have to replace that entire line. Um, and so that that has been the biggest issue is the the utilities there <clears throat> um, and then getting good boot good management in place um, if you don't have good management in place for a park then it is going to be a nightmare you do you will not want to own that thing um, so finding a good uh good boots on the ground good property manager to help you out is so important uh, for self-storage um big lesson learned Um, I guess it's not whenever you see a deal, um, most self storage facilities out there, if they're under like, I don't know, 25,000 square feet, they're going, a lot of them that I've found have been, um, owner, owner run. And so the owner does not have, uh, you know, somebody on site to do management. They don't have third party property management, anything like that. So when they send over their financials, uh, they're not going to have those additional expenses that you'll generally you are going to incur once you buy the property. And so, um, the, you know, a lot of owners, they'll send over their financials and they're like, I want uh, I want an eight cap on my self storage facility. I'm like, that's totally, totally reasonable. Um, we can move forward with that. And then I look at it and I'm realizing he wants an eight cap on his his financials um, using my financials. That's actually a five cap or a six cap or whatever it is. Uh, so you really got to be wary of how they're doing their calculations. Um, do they have uh, property management in place? Um, if they don't, you got to make sure and, and bake that in because uh, you're, you're not going to be, if you're buying out of state, um, you're not going to be wanting to uh, manage it. And well, anyways, I, either way, you're going to want to have a, a third party property manager. I would not recommend doing it yourself. Um, so just make sure that that's, that's in there. There you go. I sure wouldn't be interested in managing my own as well. Is there any overall all encompassing like biggest lesson you've learned from your deals, so to speak? That is a good question. Um, given what you just said, I would, I would expect one, one big lesson or one big piece of advice is for sure. Know your numbers before you make your yeah. offer. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a big one. That's a good, that's a big lesson learned. Um, so I think just well, the biggest well, one is just keep, you know, that things are always going to fall through. It could be the even today, like this deal that I'm working on right now, something came up at the very, very, very last minute. Like we're supposed to sign the papers tomorrow. Um, so a deal is never done until it is, you know, the, the pen has been inked. And so you just don't expect it until, until you close. And if it falls through, whatever, just keep moving forward. You're going to find something else. So I don't count your chickens before they hatch. There right? you go. Wise <laughs> wisdom. Whoever made that phrase.